Hello and welcome to the channel and I'm going to do another unboxing. Uh, I feel like I'm on a bit of a roll here. Um, I, I like opening boxes of models so I'm sure I'm sure you guys do too so uh, let's join me on this one. So this again was my purchase recently at Warlord HQ. Um, the Italian, or one of the Italian tanks. Again I don't know much <laughs> about this army either. It seems to be a running theme I think here. Um, but yeah, it's another army that all of a sudden I do want to learn more about and I really wanted to get the starter set, but I wanted the epic, uh, Waterloo set instead more. So unfortunately I had to choose one of them. And as I couldn't then get the starter set of the Italians, I just got a tank at least instead. So this kit does two versions, I believe. Um, I don't know if it does anything, you know. Like variants of the this version, various of this version as well. Um, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea about the weapon systems, but let's open it up and have a look how it looks. So open up the shrink wrap. So as you can see, this one I haven't opened at all. This is my first time accessing it, and this will be. I think this might be my first Ital was it Italeri um, kit as well. So I don't know what to expect. I believe it's slightly more, um, I wouldn't say complex, but maybe more to it, shall we say. Um, definitely a bigger raw manual than what I'm used to, or instruction manual rather. So yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's nice. I like as a bit of the stats of the vehicle as well. That's a nice touch. Okay, pretty thorough instructions it seems. I like they're nicely laid out and nice and clear, all numbered. All right. Okay, and some guidance on the color schemes. I really like this, how you can see inside the engine. I don't know if that's an engine compartment or, but it looks like it's has some kind of drive shaft and engine or gearbox or something. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I like the look of it. Okay, and Flyer for Wallet Games. The cards for and the decals and a little packed for you by Mirella. So thank you for that Mirella. And here we go to the sprue. I would not see the flames and destroyed marker. Open up the baggie, you could have probably done this an easier way, but destructive ways are more fun. And there we have the sprue. I must admit, it doesn't look like enough there to build a tank. It obviously is, um, but it doesn't actually look too many pieces to it, which is good. Um, but they do also look very, very detailed. Lots of, um, let's try and get a bit closer up. You can see all the rivet detail. And looks like the hull or the chassis. Yeah, I like that, so the guns are already attached to that piece. Okay, and some uh, drivers and gunners. Cool, and there we go. So that was the, I'm not going to, I don't know if I can I attempt to say it, Caro Amato or the Semaventi. No idea <laughs> if that's right. But yeah, that's that kit. And again, looking forward to making that and painting that. So again, I'll, I'll try and get some. Uh, videos of me building these and painting them up for the channel um, so you can join me in my uh, my journey in creating an Italian bolt action army. Thank you very much, I'll see you again. Okay we're back with another unboxing again uh, from the purchase of my trip to Warlord HQ and this is for a Matilda 2. Uh, so this hopefully will be very, well, 
joining my eighth army and with the intent of really I've got the starter set for the eighth army um, but it doesn't come with a tank so I just do feel like a, a, a nice tank a nice piece, show piece on in the army is required so I've bought the Matilda 2 a few options I had um, armored cars and a few other tanks Stuart included but settled on the Matilda 2 one because it's a plastic kit and two because I don't know but I, I like to have British uh, vehicles and, and think items with British units um, so I'll try and avoid the uh, American versions if I can and um, I'll save Mer American vehicles for American armies um, so let's crack it open and have a look I've not had a view on the back um, but I think there's a British and a Russian version there let's open it up looks like there's a tag on this one there we go and let's have a look as I know this isn't an Italo Italo Ari I can't say that word the kit so let's see how it differs okay so firstly we've got the uh, decals the card and this one is packed to you by Victory at Sea that's nice thanks Victory at Sea the uh, fire and the destroyed markers so here we have the guide okay so we've got the um, stats about the, tr the vehicle again so which is nice uh, less pages than, than the other kit Little similar layout. Appears to be all numbered, so that's good. And some paint schemes. Obviously, I'm going to go for the um, North Africa sort of paint scheme. And let's have a look at the kit itself. Looks a bit more chunky pieces with this one. Um, so this one does look like it'll produce a tank at the end of it, whereas the other one, the Italian tank, looked very um, a lot more minimal. But again, detail looks nice and crisp. Now, I just these side pieces, I absolutely adore. I just think they look so good. Now I've got to admit, I don't know why there's multiple ones. Must be some kind of difference there, but I'm not sure what there is when I uh, look through the, the instructions. I'll maybe understand what the, why I've got four side pieces. Can't really see a lot of difference because the track will go onto these and then this track will go onto these and then surely they'll look the same as that, but I'm obviously missing some, some detail about that. Okay, and the final piece. Looks like I've got the engine exhaust maybe, the mufflers. Okay, and there we go. That's the uh, Matilda 2. So thanks for joining me.